Steve, right now with Verone, what's his best NFL skill, the, the thing that he's best equipped to do at this level? Uh, the best thing? Oh, man, it'd be hard to pick just one thing that really just stands out above everything else. But I think he does a really good job with uh, communication. He's smart. He understands the game. Um, he takes good angles to the football. Uh, he's a reliable tackler. You know, I still think there's some, you know, area to his game to grow. I mean, he's still a young, uh, maturing player. Um, so uh, plays a deep part of the field well. Um, used him last week on, on a couple blitzes. So, uh, you know, that was good to see. Um, just trying to, you know, use his versatility in, in, in different ways. And um, I think he's a smart enough player to be able to be a versatile player. Um, you know, obviously he's back there with, on defense a lot of times. Sometimes he's in the split safety looks with Javon. Um, with them being former teammates at Oregon, I was curious, like, if you see that maybe they're, like, maybe a step a, le a step ahead or a level ahead with communication, just kind mm -hmm. of knowing where each other where each other needs to be because there's obviously a lot of communication with the yeah, safety. Yeah, I right? definitely think it helps. I mean, those guys spend some time in college playing together. Uh, there's little things that uh, you can do as a player when you understand the guy that you're playing next to on that level. Uh, they, they have a really good friendship, um, just little nuances to body language and, and just a certain look you can give a guy that he understands, you know, what you're trying to tell him uh, in certain situations. So I, I definitely think that helps those guys in that area. Probably asked it all. You've probably said everything there is to say about uh, Javon Holland uh, and his play. But how about in recent weeks, just the versatility that he shows that if Verone's in the game, he can go in the box, mm -hmm. and then other safeties, he can go play uh, that center field. Just uh, the versatility that he brings. yeah, definitely. I mean, he has an an, an all around skill set that allows him to move around the field, and you can use him in different you know places. And and you want to be able to do that. I mean, you don't want to just pigeonhole a guy and put him in one spot on the field, especially a player of his caliber um, and the potential that he has to impact a game. You tr you want to try to find different areas and different spots throughout the game uh, to use utilize that stuff and um, he's doing a good job with that you know again he's another very intelligent smart player that understands our system and and, it, and is continually growing each week regarding Brandon Jones has, has he been around the facility and has he been sitting in meetings and do you, do you encourage that or, or could it be a situation of there's too many voices no abs yeah, absolutely he's been around um, you know obviously he's dealing with the injury and surgery and recovery and rehab and all of that stuff but he's welcome in our in the room anytime he wants to be there I'm, the guys love Brandon. Brandon's a hell of a teammate. Um, so whenever he's around, we, we enjoy it. And so you want him talking to Verone? Verone no doubt. Any, any pieces of advice that players can give each other from their own experiences? I mean, I was that guy once too. So uh, I, I think that's always valuable stuff. With these new practice squad rules, you can obviously have older players, mm -hmm. which is helpful. Have you guys had Jamal Perry working at both safety and corner? Yeah, he's been doing a little bit of everything. Um, you know, Jamal's a, a good football player, instinctual football player. Um, you know, he's doing a great job of, of giving the offense a look in, in certain situations that we ask him to do during practice, and he's continually to learn our defense and, and, and growing as a player. As far as replacing, obviously, Brandon, he does a lot of things well, but a unique skill is blitzing. He does it as well as any safety in the league. How much do you and, and Josh and all the defensive coaches talk about how do we replace that and Verone is a blitzer. I know you mentioned he blitzed a couple times last week. How is he in that? Yeah, area? I mean, you know, a guy like Brandon, it's hard to replace somebody of that, you know, caliber, the speed at which he plays the game, the intensity, um, you know, his blitz ability, you know, his coverage skills were, were growing and, and getting better each and every week. Um, I don't think you replace a guy like Brandon Jones. I think you collectively try to do it as a group. Uh, you try to build a scheme around certain players and utilize their assets and their abilities uh, to their advantages. And um, that's what we try to do with, with all of our players at all three levels of the defense. And, you know, it's going well so far.